Hey guys, this is the Fate of Battle, and welcome back to Let's Play Maniac Mansion. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've done any of these videos. Um, sorry about that. Had some real life stuff to take care of. <laughs> I know that's like six months is a long time, but uh, yeah, I'm back now, and now we're gonna finish this game probably in this uh, exact video. First, um, kind of a bit of a recap of what we did last time. Uh, we basically we set up uh, for the finally part, final part of the game. We're gonna fix this radio here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be calling the meteor police, and the police is gonna come and take the meteor away. That's controlling uh, Doctor Weird. I think that I think that's the name, Doctor Doctor Weird. No, that's from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, isn't it? Weird Ed. That's his name. Weird Ed. Doctor Weird. Anyway, uh, let's see what I need to do first. God, it's been a while since I've done this video. Uh, let's see. Let's try and use the radio tube in this tube socket here. Alright, we're good. Uh, let's see. Um, I also need to bring Sid up here. Wherever the hell he is. Oh, you're all the way over here. Jesus Christ. The reason why I need to bring him upstairs is because I need to get caught by... Ah. Uh, Wait, Weird Ed is the guy with the, like, green skin. Then who's the freaking guy who's doing all this? I don't... I don't even remember. Any, anyway, I gotta get caught by Weird Ed in order to go into his room, because he'll he'll take the guy to the dungeon, and that'll therefore leave his, his room open to take stuff from. And there's an important item in there that we need to get in order to finish the game. So that's why I gotta bring Sid upstairs. Doo -doo. Okay, let's go up the stairs here. We're almost there. Dun, 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 dun. Man, I love this music. It's sweet. Okay, let's see. Who should I use? Uh, I, gu I guess I'll use Sid to get caught. What's up, dude? Intruder, halt. What are you doing in my house? Are you an agent of the evil meteor? Or are you here to help me defeat him? Not talking, eh? Well, to the dungeon, spy. <laughs> Too bad you weren't on my side. Yeah, whatever. Now I'm gonna go take your shit. Quick, Bernard, go! I only have so much time, go, go, go! Get in there, and get the hamster. And get the card key, go, go, go! I'm out of here, bye-bye! Okay, uh, first, now I gotta... I gotta call the meteor police, but first I gotta read this wanted poster. Wanted for a terrible acts of violence. One murderous purple slimy meteor. <laughs> That's funny. If found, call 1138. Okay. Uh, oh, first I gotta turn on the radio. 1138. And we're gonna use the radio. 1138. Okay. Da, 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 da. Get a little cutscene here. That's a weird looking earth, I must say. This is the meteor police. Uh huh. You found the murderous purple meteor? Yes, I did. I'll be there in five minutes. Now, when he says five minutes, I think he literally means five minutes. Okay, make sure the lab is unlocked. Oh, yeah. As for you, keep it under light speed. <laughs> keep it under light speed. Well, if he goes by the speed of the light, if they're on the moon, they'll, they'll be there in eight minutes. So, what? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm going to get caught again and go to the dungeon. 
What are you doing in my house? Okay, yes, are you an agent of the evil meteor? Blah, 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 are you here to defeat him? I'm not talking about all of I think if you give him the hamster, he'll, like, be your friend or something. I don't know. Come on, let's go. Yes, yes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. Now that that's done, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna change to Sid, who has the glowing key. The glowing key will be used to unlock these padlocks here. Uh, use... No. Use glowing key and padlock. Use glowing key and the lower padlock. Then open the outer door. And open the inner door. Now, this is the part where... Uh, a walkthrough told you to fix the arcade machines so Weird Ed can play them and you get this like high score and the high score will be this this code but it's much easier if you don't fix the machines so the machines will stay zero 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 and so you just put zero 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 and the motherfucker opens. Now we're not gonna go inside we're gonna wait for the meteor police to show up and that's gonna take a couple minutes so we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit this is kind of going to be the boring part of the video, but uh, th it's it's a necessary action in order to finish the game. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about the game, how much I you know how much I enjoy it, and kind of a little little history about my experience with this game. I played this game way back. Oh God, I must have been at least. I must have been like five or six years old, and uh, back then I had a Nintendo, but I didn't own this particular game. Uh, my cousin actually owned this game, and often we were sent over to my cousin's place uh, for babysitting. My, my, my aunt would babysit my brother and I, and uh, my cousin would also be there as well. So uh, she had a, a Nintendo, and she had this particular game, and this was one of those games that we played a whole lot. Now, we, we only beat the game a couple of times, but I think we just love the overall atmosphere of the game. It's very, like, kind of, you gotta sneak around, a bunch of kids going into a house, fixing stuff. It kind of reminds me of, like, Resident Evil meets, like, Solid Snake meets some other shit. And it was just an overall fun game. Now, this, this game actually got a spinoff TV series that was aired on, I think, the Family Channel, back when the Family Channel was still around. And it had like a, it had like a, quite a bit of a cult following. However, it's really hard to find the episodes online nowadays. Uh, I've only seen like maybe one episode on YouTube. And uh, it's a very odd show. It, it doesn't even follow the, the story of the game. It really just has the characters like Weird Ed and, and Edna and the, all those people. It's a, it's kind of a weird show. I, I'm I'm kind of curious as to why they even made it in the first place. If they weren't gonna like follow the original story of the game, but oh well, whatever, no big deal. Uh, when's the meteor police gonna show up? Oh, I don't know if I showed this in one of the earlier videos. There's like a loose brick over here somewhere. Maybe it's on the next one. No, loose brick. Where is the loose brick? Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, there it is, loose brick. If you if you press the loose brick, this door will open. So you gotta you need to have two people though because it, it, it's quick. The you, you press the loose brick and you have to quickly switch to a new kid and then and then you run out the door. So you need two people in order to do it. There's also another way to open this door. Uh, there there's a key that I missed that you need to get in order uh, in order to open the door. It's uh it was in like the living room. Uh, where the radio was, where I opened up the radio, it, it was sitting on top of the chandelier. And what you need to do is you need to go upstairs and make a recording of of a li really loud pitched screeching noise. And I think you get that off one of the records. And so one of the records is like broken, so that's why it makes a screeching noise. So if you record that onto a tape and then put it into the, uh, the the player down in the living room, it'll shatter the chandelier and therefore you can get the key. So that way you can open this door whenever you want. You don't need to use the loose brick trick. Do, 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 do. 
Let's see, what else can I talk about while we're waiting for the stupid meteor police? Uh, well, I, I think I mentioned this before, but Bernard is easily the, the most useful character in this game. I think he, you only need Bernard to beat this game. You don't even need a third character. You just need Dave and Bernard because he's, he's that useful. He can do basically anything. Oh, there's the meteor police, finally. Jesus Christ. Jesus! How did you get in here? Alright, let's go get him! These guys aliens? Don't bug me, sucker face! <laughs> sucker face! Get out of my face! Stand aside! How did he open that door? You need a card key. So, it's you, slimy purple meteor. <laughs> oh no, you found me. I like how he talks by spitting out slime. You're coming with me, craterhead. Man, you can't, you can't even make up this awesome dialogue. Okay, so the meteor's, the meteor's gone. Let's see. I, I think I have... Uh... Oh wait, no. Bernard has the... Card, the card key, right? Park card key? Yeah, you do. Alright, good. So let's use him. Uh, we gotta get this badge, because we have to give it to the tentacle or else he won't let us through. Let's see, give badge to purple tentacle. And he's like, oh my god, you're with the meteor, please, I'm the fuck out of here. Dr. Fred made me do it. He forced me to go along with this evil plan. No, we didn't. We're just making this up. It's all his fault. So it's Dr. Fred. Okay. I'm innocent. He's right in there. Get him. Arrest him. Put a stop to his dastardly deeds. Haha, <laughs> dastardly deeds. That's funny. He's mad. I'll help you. Okay. I'm your friend. You can trust me. Ugh. So you just run away? Alright. You're not my friend after all. I'm just gonna walk by. Okay, bye! Yeah, purple, purple tentacle ran away like a bitch. Alright, use card key in the card slot. And now we can go through the door. And then we turn this off. And then we won the game! Hooray! Oh, what happened? I feel much better now. I'm free of this machine's control. But wait! The self-destruct sequence was initiated. I'll try to turn it off. I did it! Hooray! We won! I'm sorry my insane plan caused you so much trouble. How can I ever repay you for your help? Cash would be nice. Don't be a tuna head. <laughs> tuna head. And that's the end of the game. Congratulations, you won the game. Let's get some sweet music going. Man, listen to that soundtrack! Sweet soundtrack. Okay, so that's that was my Let's Play of Maniac Mansion. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a very fun little game. It's not all that long, but I really like the characters, like the story, you know, whatever story there is. And it's just an overall fun point-and-click game. I really enjoy it. Oh, and these uh, these char these names here: Better Ed than Dead, No Never Well, Maybe Sure Okay by George Alistair. Come see Mark Copy Nerd. <laughs> Real funny names. Do Doug David Warball. Maniac Theme by Chris Grigg. David Warhol. 
press B to play again. Well, we're not going to play again. We're going to stop here. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time for my next Let's Play. See you later.